Welcome to another Mini Mate review. Today we're going to take a look at the Thor Stormbreaker box set. This was exclusive to the San Diego Comic Con, and we've got it right now at Luke'sToyStore.com. First figure in the set is probably the least exciting of them all, Thor. He was actually already released once in the Disney box set. So, uh, it's a very nice Mini Mate, but that's probably one of my only complaints about this set, is I wish we had gotten a new character instead of another Thor. But, you gotta admit, he's a much better version of him than the original Thor Mini Mate, whom I'll show you in a second. He's actually got the full Power of Thor script written here on his hammer. Is it Mjolnir? I think it's Mjolnir. He's a lot slimmer than the original Mini Mate. Let's grab the original Mini Mate right now. There we go. So it's quite a difference. Much better face, much better proportions. I really like the new one. My only problem with the actual construction of mine is his belt ended up being kind of bowed in the middle. I don't know if anyone else had that problem. But I was happy to upgrade from the original Thor Mini Mate. Next is another character we've already gotten, although I don't mind as much this time around, because the costume is different. Loki! God of Mischief. Um, I got the original Loki here. Let's compare them right away. You can definitely see the change in detail on the new Minimates. Even though this is a pretty detailed Minimate at the time, the new Loki just looks so much more complete to me. So much like he walked right out of the comics. I love the different costume and the art style in all of these matches up really well. Very happy to get this one. Next up is a new character we have not gotten before. Lady Sif. And she looks fantastic. Surprisingly, she ended up being my favorite mini maid in this whole set. She comes with a sword. She's got a new headpiece no one's ever gotten before. I just love her color scheme. The red and white. She looks totally different than any other mini maid on my shelf right now. I am in love. Last but not least, the character that many people were waiting for, Better Ray Bill. As you can see, he is really sculpted. He's got a sculpted head, chest with a cape, a belt, boots, gloves, and then he's got these new sculpted thighs as well. They're actually a whole new leg completely. So, we're kind of getting to the point where we have to ask ourselves, what makes a Minimate? Because this could very well just be a scaled down action figure and not so much a block figure. But it's hard to complain because, I mean, just look at him. He looks amazing. I had a slight paint issue with the teeth on mine. My camera probably wouldn't show it. They're just a tiny bit sloppy, so I'm going to have to touch that up. But otherwise, he was pretty much immaculate. Very dynamic. It's a character we've wanted for years. I actually made a custom Better Ray Bill a few years back as part of a contest. I don't have him anymore, but I got a picture of him right here you can see. At the time, I thought it was a pretty cool custom, but he really needs a sculpted head. For as much as I just complained about sculpted parts, for sure he needed the head. Or else it just doesn't look as much like him. So he's probably the crown jewel in this set, although we are getting another version of him soon from Toys R Us, but with gold instead of yellow. So even though we already got him before, I'd have to give Thor 5 out of 5. He's just about the most perfect version of him that I can think of. Loki, 5 out of 5. Blows the old one away and I love the style. Lady Sif, 5 out of 5. You really can't go wrong here. Like I said, I'm in love with her. Better Ray Bill? <sighs> 5 out of 5. This is probably one of my favorite Mini Mate sets this year, and I don't think you want to miss out on this one. As always, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.